kind of quiet around here. Too quiet. Don't say that. Whenever someone says that in the movie, something bad happens. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 darkest moments on Power Rangers. Scorpius, I will have my revenge. For this list, we'll be looking at the grimmest, most disturbing, and borderline traumatic scenes from the usually lighthearted superhero franchise. As much as we love the comics, we'll only be focusing on the TV series and movies. Since these moments can get very story heavy, expect spoilers ahead. Which ranger moment chilled you to the bone? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, the end of the Green Ranger, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It turns out that Rita doesn't like it when her evil Green Rangers abandon her. When Tommy turns on her, she conjures up a magic candle that steals Tommy's powers as it burns. Why am I here? That's simple. If you serve Rita, you can keep your powers. If not, you'll lose them when the candle burns out. What candle? The green candle. <laughs> when Jason goes to retrieve the candle, he is forced to make a difficult decision that would haunt him. Come on. You gave up too easily. An intense battle on Earth ends up endangering Tommy's life. In order to save his teammate, Jason abandons hopes of getting the candle back and lets Tommy's Green Ranger powers fade away. It was great being a Ranger, Zordon. You'll always be with me. I'm sorry, Tommy. We tried to get the candle. You did what you had to do. My powers are with you now. Use them to defeat Rita. You can count on it, man. For a famously lighthearted and goofy season, this was a surprisingly grim moment that highlights that not every decision we make will be easy. Number 19, a terrifying rescue mission, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. When Terra Venture receives a distress beacon, Mike and Leo lead a team of GSA soldiers on a rescue mission inside an unknown spacecraft. Thanks for coming. I feel a lot better with you along. Wouldn't miss it. Just watch my back. The mission quickly becomes something out of a horror film. Although the ship is dark, covered in webs, and the only parts of the ship's crew left are gooey remains, the heroes aren't alone. They find themselves being hunted by a vicious and lightning-fast alien monster that picks them off one at a time. He got Jasper! What got Jasper? Something! He came out of the shadows, sir! Grabbed him and then they were both gone! A rescue mission quickly becomes a fight to make it out alive. Thankfully, everyone survives in the end. But the tense, foreboding atmosphere makes this one of the scariest episodes of the whole Power Rangers series. Number 18. Did something happen to me? Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. Throughout Operation Overdrive, there are subtle hints that Mac might be more than meets the eye. Eventually, the truth is found out in one of the biggest plot twists of the series. It's revealed that Mac is actually an android Dr. Hartford designed. You're an android. I created you. <laughs> That's impossible. He was built only two years prior to the events of the series. To sell the ruse, Mac was given false memories of a childhood that never happened. I wanted you to be like every other kid. I'm not! I'm a machine! Suffice it to say, Mac is an emotional mess when all these truths are revealed. Learning that everything he ever believed about his life was all a lie was pretty dark. And if that wasn't disturbing enough for you, there's a lovely shot of Mac's detached cyborg head to seal the deal. Did something happen to me? Um, yeah. Number 17, Decker's Defeat, Power Rangers Super Samurai. When you look at the facts, Decker's whole life is dark on its own. He was cursed as a half-human slash half Nylock with no memory of his former life. All Decker had was an insatiable need to find a worthy opponent to break his curse. 
I knew we had something in common the moment I met you. Hiding that secret made you twisted like me. We have nothing in common. Maybe you don't think so. But I can see in your eyes. The same need to fight. The need to prove yourself worthy. After two seasons of build-up, he finally gets his ultimate duel against Red Ranger Jaden. Despite how exhausted both warriors get, Decker refuses to quit. He keeps going even when he's too tired to lift his sword. Although Jaden doesn't want to strike the final blow, Decker still keeps trying to provoke his opponent. When Blue Ranger Kevin strikes the villain down, he happily embraces the end in a truly grim scene. At last, I'm free. Number 16, Lord Zed's Twisted Demands, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You know you've hit rock bottom when you're forced to negotiate with the devil. Pink Ranger Kimberly was once held hostage. There's gotta be something we can do, Zordon. We can't lose Kimberly. I can't lose her. With her life force fading away, the Rangers are left with no choice but to allow Lord Zed into the command center to make a deal. Zed's demands are simple and wicked. The rangers must either serve him and pilot his evil zords, or risk letting one of their own perish. You agree to pilot my new fleet of zords and do all my evil bidding, or you can refuse my offer, in which case we can all sit around and have a jolly time watching the pink ranger race away. This situation is grim enough with the original pink ranger's life on the line but seeing the villain sit smugly in the ranger's sacred sanctuary with all the cards in his favor is just bone chilling. Number 15, the truth behind Cole's parents, Power Rangers Wild Force. For all his life, Cole desperately wanted to know what became of his parents. Tragically, what he finds is not good news. Cole! I'll be destroyed soon. Just like your parents! What? His parents were once close with a human named Dr. Adler. However, the medical professional became bitterly jealous of their love. After turning himself into a monster, Master Org put an end to his suffering by making them suffer the ultimate price. I will have my revenge! I was no longer a weak human being! They did it! You took the seeds, didn't you? I became Master Org! Cole's parents were good people who were dedicated to protecting the Earth. Unfortunately, their lives were cut short because someone they dared to call a friend let his bitterness consume him. It's a heavy storyline that made Cole's fight against evil feel a lot more painful and personal. Number 14, Kruger Loses Everything, Power Rangers SPD. The realization that you're the sole survivor of a conflict can be a lot to handle. Unfortunately, Commander Kruger knows all too well what that's like. The evil Emperor Grum once invaded the Commander's homeworld Sirius. Though our men fought valiantly, Attack! we were no match for the endless army of Trubians. Victory is mine! Although Kruger tried his best to lead the charge and fight against the invaders, he lost. He was overpowered, his wife was taken, and his planet was conquered. Kruger was left thinking that he was the very last of his kind. That dreaded day haunted Kruger so much that he vowed never to pick up his sword again. But when a shadow of his past comes back to finish him off, he faces his inner demons and fights again. Number 13. Dayu's dark deal with Serrator, Power Rangers Samurai. While Nylocks thrive on human fear and misery, Dayu is arguably more miserable than anyone on Earth. Once upon a time, she was a human that was married to Decker, but her love was fatally wounded in a house fire. Dayu was so desperate to save him that she made a deal with the Nylock King Serrator. I can save him for a price. Please. Simply trade your humanity for an eternity in the netherworld. After agreeing to trade her humanity so that Decker may live, she realizes that she agreed to a terrible deal. 
Serrator made Decker half Nylock with no memory of his humanity or Dayu. He shall live, but as a cursed half human and half Nylock, with no memory of you. What? No! You tricked me! <laughs> Additionally, he has an unquenchable thirst for combat. Dayu, on the other hand, remembers everything. She's forced to live with the pain of losing everything she once held dear. Number 12, the end of the Wild Zords, Power Rangers Wild Force. During the season finale of Wild Force, it seemed like all the orgs had finally been destroyed. Unfortunately, Master Org was alive, recently reached his full power, and had begun his final takeover of Earth. Hello, Rangers. Remember me? Earth is I, Master Org. It's so good to see you again. He decides to kick off his conquest by destroying the Animarium. Although the Wild Zords fight valiantly, it's not enough. One by one, Master Org effortlessly slices them into extinction. Falcon Zord, watch out! Yeah. He's destroying the Wild Zords! The end of the Zords means that the Rangers no longer have any powers or hope of protecting the world from Master Org's terror. Seeing these sentient animal fighters fall in battle right before the Rangers' eyes made for a disturbing scene. Your wild swords are finally extinct, and soon you and the whole human race will be gone as well! Number 11, Imperius' Dark Wish, Power Rangers Mystic Force. The Mystic Force Rangers learn the hard way that they should never stop appreciating what they have. After winning their fair share of matchups, they become overly dependent on using their magic and keep looking for mystical shortcuts. Sadly, their laziness costs them dearly when the vile Imperius takes advantage of their powers to make an evil wish. I grant you one wish. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I wish there were never Mystic Force Power Rangers. No, no, no! The villain changes reality so that the Power Rangers never came to their hometown of Briarwood. As a result, all the good magic and color is sucked away. The city is left at the mercy of the darkness. Worst of all, our heroes are powerless. All they have is the memories of their old lives and the knowledge they caused all this by taking their magic for granted. They've taken over the whole city and there's nothing we can do about it. The world belongs to the forces of darkness. We failed. Number 10, Alex is struck down. Power Rangers Time Force. Time Force is undeniably one of the most mature seasons of the show. It cemented its role as a serious series from day one. At the very beginning of the series, Alex was the original Red Time Force Ranger and Pink Ranger Jen's fiance. He's tasked with bringing in the mutant warlord Rancic. In the season premiere, the two clash, but Rancic comes out on top and viciously strikes Alex in the back. He lies in his fiance's arms and entrusts her to finish the mission he would never get to complete. For longtime fans, the sight of a Red Ranger dying was incredibly intense and depressing. While Alex would eventually come back due to time travel, his relationship with Jen was never the same. Alex? Unbelievable. You look just like me. You're alive! Number 9, Murloc Toys with Sky, Power Rangers SPD. Murloc is essentially treated like the Hannibal Lecter of the Power Rangers franchise. Since he has the ability to travel through reflective surfaces, he's kept locked away in a remote facility. But Murloc gets a visitor when Blue Ranger Sky needs information on a fugitive. A visitor? What a rare treat. This isn't a social visit. I'm here on official SPD business. I want to ask you some questions. The villain agrees to give up vital info if the hero recounts his saddest memory. Reluctantly, 
Sky tells the story of how his Red Ranger father didn't come home alive one day. He fought until the bitter end. It was his last battle. I never saw him again. Once the hero sheds a single tear, Murloc escapes his cell through the tear's reflection. What makes this scene worse in hindsight is the fact that the villain slayed Skye's father. Murloc literally capitalized on the pain he caused to escape and hurt even more people. Number 8. Trakina Goes Too Far Power Rangers Lost Galaxy After gaining more power, the big bad Trakina completely snaps and orchestrates a ruthless attack on the peaceful city of Terra Venture. Welcome back, Terra Venture. Not only does she directly assault the colony with her ship, but she attaches bombs to her stingwingers to blow up anything they come in contact with. They go on to destroy or seriously damage both structures and megazords. Oh no! The megazords! They've been destroyed! <laughs> now nothing can stop! Even her loyal general Villamax is disgusted by her carelessness. What makes this invasion even more horrifying is how closely it parallels other real world tragedies. Scenes like this show that there are villains that will go to truly disturbing lengths to beat the Rangers. Number 7. Rancic's Hatred Power Rangers Time Force Despite being a kid's show, Time Force was not afraid to tackle heavy subjects like prejudice. The audience eventually learns that hatred is why the main villain Rancic became a criminal. As it turns out, he was born as a mutant due to a random accident. And as the world above dreamed of perfect DNA, their nightmare, a mutant, was born. <laughs> Society rejected Rancic solely because he looked different. Since he couldn't bear to live in a world that wouldn't accept him, he decides to raise an army of his own kind to make humans suffer for rejecting him. I gathered every other wretched creature and formed an army of criminals that terrorize the city. The villains of this season only exist because society wasn't willing to give them a chance. While Power Ranger Big Bads don't always get extensive backstories, we definitely understood why Rancic was so evil. Number 6. Billy Drowns Power Rangers. From the opening scene, it was obvious that the 2017 Power Rangers movie would be the darkest live action Power Rangers movie yet. Reshainu. Reshainu. Alpha, Yangsu, Axprintaku, Shinai, Unfunka. It was packed with mature themes and saw the heroes dealing with more realistic and hard-hitting problems. The bleakest moment came when Rita tied up all the rangers. She threatens to kill them if they don't tell her where the precious Zeo crystal is. To protect his friends, Blue Ranger Billy gives up the crystal's location. Rita thanks him by letting him drown. Zordon would lose all respect for me if I don't kill you. At least one of you. What? His friends are forced to carry him back to the base while they're still mourning. Although Billy gets a second chance at life, the scene of his death is an image we can't get out of our heads. Did I die? Yes. No. A little bit. You guys want me back to life? Number 5. The Power Rangers Lose Their Base Power Rangers Turbo. When the good mentors are away, the devious Divatox orders her troops to attack the power chamber. You really want to know when we attack? Yeah. <laughs> we attack. No! Attack! The Rangers attempt to fight back against the continuous forces. Unfortunately, they're grossly outnumbered. In the end, the unthinkable happens when Divatox blows up the power chamber. The Rangers thankfully survive the tremendous explosion. I 
by Ranger. However, that doesn't make the whole sequence any less intense, and it's painful to see the normally bright and majestic power chamber darkened and being torn apart bit by bit. Up to this point, Divatox wasn't a very effective villain, but her destruction of the power chamber cemented her place in franchise evil history. Number 4. Magna Defenders Past Power Rangers Lost Galaxy the Galaxy Rangers weren't fond of the Magna Defender's lone warrior attitude, but can you blame him after everything he's endured? I'll never forgive Scorpius for what he did to you, Zika, or for what he did to our planet. Years ago, he was a gallant, benevolent warrior and a father, but one fateful encounter with the evil Scorpius ruined his life. During the battle, Magna Defender's son rushed in to protect his father, but Scorpius snuffs the young soul right out in front of his father's eyes. Zika! Ah! Zika, please! No! Get up! Ah! Since that horrible day, the Magna Defender strayed from his righteous path and became a vengeful, bitter warrior determined to make Scorpius pay. While he could have been a better team player, it's understandable that he'd be so cold after losing so much. Number 3. Kendrix's Sacrifice Power Rangers Lost Galaxy No matter how much time has passed since the original Pink Galaxy Ranger Kendrix's demise, it never gets less tragic. During a tense battle, the heinous Psycho Pink unleashes a deadly storm that threatens to wipe out Cassie and all of Terra Venture. Kendrix rushes in and silences the storm. Unfortunately, her heroic deed comes at the cost of her life. I'm okay. I'll always be here. Behind the scenes, this decision was made because actress Valerie Vernon, who played the Ranger, was undergoing treatment for leukemia. It was great to hear that she recovered in real life and was able to return to the show. I knew you'd make it here. Kendrix! You don't know how many times I wished you'd come back. I missed you. But until Vernon recovered, her character's death served as a bleak dose of reality that not everyone comes back from a battle alive. Number 2. Zordon's Death, Power Rangers in Space During the season finale of In Space, the struggle between good and evil escalated to an all-out war throughout the universe. All the forces of good were left struggling to survive. Longtime Ranger mentor Zordon says the universe can be saved if his energy tube is shattered. Only the good energy from my tube can destroy the forces of evil. But Zordon, what's going to happen to you? I will be gone, but my spirit will forever live in all that is good. Unfortunately, the only person around to do it is the Red Ranger Andros. After agonizing over what needs to be done, the hero agrees to take Zordon out. A reluctant blow from Andros marks the end of an era. <laughs> Not only did Zordon help many young adults become heroic warriors, but the fans at home spent six seasons with him. Unlike most Ranger deaths, Zordon's demise was permanent. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dr. K unintentionally starts an apocalypse. Power Rangers RPM Since RPM is set in a world where a sentient computer virus was responsible for eliminating most of the human population, this season's mere existence is pretty dark. 
I am Vengeance. Your world is now my world, and your time is now over. But nothing could have prepared fans for the reveal of how the world got this way. Power Ranger mentor Dr. K reveals that she was a child prodigy forced to remain inside for most of her formative years. Can I go outside? Outside? Sorry, honey. You're still very, very allergic to the sun. Maybe next year. Now don't forget to make your birthday wish. You do have a wish, don't you? In an attempt to escape the agency that had imprisoned her, she created a virus to disrupt their system. But when Dr. K's plans are interrupted, her creation escapes out into the world. You have to let me install the firewall to stop it! Oh, that kids will spread beyond alphabet soup! No! I just wanted to go outside! No! Please! It could infect the entire world! She has to live with the knowledge that many lives, including the loved ones of some of her rangers, were lost because she wanted freedom. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.